This video clip will familiarize you with the three improvements of doors and windows. Activate the door tool from the toolbox and open its settings. Select the hinged door folder and choose one of the rectangular door types. Select the front view preview option. Open the hinged door settings page and from the parameters pop-up select natural ventilation. This is a new option for rectangular doors and windows. It has two types. The overframe ventilation profile, which is built above the door or window frame. It has editable heights and widths. The overglazing ventilation profile, built into the door or window sash, can include, for example, the area above the side light and or the transom. The profile height can be set as well. Let's see another improvement for the vent sash type now. Activate the window tool from the toolbox and open its settings. Let's select, for example, the double sash window from the basic windows folder. Open its settings and select sash options. From the pop-up, select the vent sash type. Vent is a new sash type. It can be selected for windows with rectangular sashes and all doors with rectangular side lights or transoms. By checking the Uniform Sashes checkbox, you can include it on all sashes. The style of louvers is straight by default, but you can change them to Z profile by clicking the louver style pop-up. The angle, thickness, and width of the louvers can also be set. Louvers can be built directly into the frame or as part of a fixed or movable sash. As a result of this improvement, the old vent window library part is not available anymore and will be automatically replaced during project migration by a normal window with a vent sash. As a new improvement, you can use different line types for visible and hidden wall contour lines displayed on the 2D symbol of doors and windows. You can see two windows next to each other. All their contour lines are the same continuous types. The sill and board on the left have been activated as well. Let's select the window on the right and open its settings dialog. From the custom settings pop-up, select the all parameters option. Scroll down to 2D and section representation. Here you can set the wall contour line types. Now select dense dashed one for wall contour line type inside and then for outside as well. Click OK. You can see the contour lines of the right side window are dashed now. Let's select the window on the left side now and open its settings dialog. Select the hidden wall contour line type inside and then for outside as well and set it to dense dashed one. Click OK. As you can see, the hidden lines are now dashed under the sill and board as well.